Hello and welcome back to my channel. We are exactly T minus one week from Dragon Con and today we are going to be making hamburger shoes. Now you may ask hamburger shoes, what do you mean? I mean, we're literally going to make these shoes right here and they look like hamburgers. What I'm going to start out with is my pair of shoes that I thrifted from Goodwill. What I was looking for was just a shoe that had this really good base that I could build on. I have made my template. It looks something like this and I'm going to be using tons and tons of cosplay stick from Sherbonder to build this thing up. So let's get started. Before we get started, I want to say that this project is sponsored by Sherbonder. Thank you guys so much for trusting me when you asked me what I wanted to do and I said I'm going to make hamburger shoes. You didn't even blink. You just said, okay, uh, sure, trust the process. You got this. And this project is going to turn out so cool. And this is the original design by Ellie Marie. I loved it from the moment I saw it. And I think it's going to be amazing. It's going to be a little complicated, but we totally got this. I will be using Sherbonder to glue my Eva foam French fries onto my cosplay once I'm finished, but let's just do the hamburger shoes first and the rest of the cosplay is tomorrow me's project so without further ado let's get started making these hamburger shoes the template was pretty simple i just took a piece of paper and i stuck it right here on the heel and i just traced out the general heel shape and this is how i'm going to create everything i've got the layers of bun burger lettuce bun cheese burger bun and i've already started making my little sesame drops over here which i will paint those when i am done so I guess let's get started on the bun. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is I'm going to check to make sure that the camera is on first, <laughs> most important. I'm taking wax paper and I'm going to just lay my wax paper straight over my pattern. I darken the line so I can actually see everything. And I'm going to just lay my wax paper directly over my pattern. And then I'm going to just start laying down hot glue. And when I get it to where I like, I'm just going to peel it up. And this is what I'm going to wrap around like this. I swear to God, it's gonna make sense. You just have to just trust the process. So the most important thing to remember is obviously you're gonna to need to do this twice because it does have to wrap around both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying down my hamburger bun. <laughs> it's so funny to say and then i will start doing the rest of it one thing i do want to mention when i'm laying down my glue is i'm going to let it get halfway to where it's sort of tacky and it's not going to burn me and i'm going to just take a piece of leftover which is my french fry right here and i'm just going to kind of rough it up so it has texture to it because if you're laying it down flat it kind of just looks like flat and dull to me so i'm just gonna give it some texture make it look like a hamburger bun yeah, there we go. I'm going to just kind of rub it along the glue right here. So it has this nice little texture to it. And the best part about this is if it is too thick or anything, you can trim it down with scissors. All right, ouch. Now I'm going to just let this dry and I'm going to start doing the rest of the burger. I'm using the cosplay stick by Sherbonder, which has been designed with the cosplayer in mind. It is premium industrial strength resin. It actually sticks Eva foam to fabric. Don't even get me started on how incredible and life-changing that has been in this project, but just trust me when I say this is amazing. Add it to your cosplay and costume arsenal. You will not regret it. All right, my first issue came when I was trying to remember what lettuce looked like. Yes, I know. So I just got my phone out and pulled up a picture of what lettuce looked like. The trick to doing shoes like this, especially if you're trying to get texture, is you have to wait for it to be not fully dry, so it's still a little tacky and not too hot so you burn yourself. And what you're going to do is just take your fingers and kind of just pull it and adjust it. And you can always cut this if you're not happy. That's what I did learn at the end. But if you just kind of like pull it and shape it as you go along, it's pretty easy. Now I am making the top of the bun. This was also a little tricky. I had to keep building it up layer by layer because when you looked at the shoe, I wanted it to kind of be round like a burger bun. So it has that slight overhang. And now comes the painting part. These are just paints that I picked up at the craft store, nothing special to them. And I just took a paintbrush and just started painting them and they painted up 
pretty darn well. I just found colors that kind of looked similar to Ellie's drawing and then kind of looked like a hamburger. And I think I, get, I think I did pretty good on the texture. I'm really happy with the lettuce and the cheese. The cheese is gonna be amazing. I will shape that so it's like hanging over. Like it's just one juicy, juicy cheeseburger. And here is what it looks like before I finish painting it. And now what I'm going to do is start putting it on the shoe and see how it's gonna look. I, I think it's gonna look great. I'm really happy with the shape. And then once I got all those pieces painted and they dried, I switched over from my cosplay stick over to using the clear stick, which is just an all purpose type of glue stick. And I started gluing that on there and it was so, so easy. It stuck straight to my shoes. I didn't have to mess with it. And I just started layering it according to my template. Now, here's what I did mention earlier. You can trim this with scissors. I wanted to try to cover that entire red heel. So I did have some overhang, especially right here with the lettuce. So once I got to where that was, all I did was just clip it with scissors and I just kept layering all of my pieces of my hamburger and it turned out looking something like this. I finished one shoe and here is the reveal. Ta-da! It turned out even better than I literally thought it would. I am just beyond pleased with how juicy this cheeseburger looks. And these are my little sesame seeds. And what I'm going to do is just glue those on. I did use my cosplay stick to make those. And all I did was just make little teardrops. And I will be gluing those on individually to make it look like a proper sesame burger. And of course, once I finished one shoe, I had to go make the second shoe. So they were not twins, they were sisters, but I am so pleased with how it turned out. And once I finished all my little sesame seeds, I just painted that up and I attached them so this was a juicy looking burger. And I think it just turned out incredible. And I did get to wear her Saturday at Dragon Con. And oh my God, I love how this costume turned out. Every single inch from the 3D printed nugget all the way to my hamburger shoes. I just have to say a huge thank you to Sherbonder for totally trusting me when I said I'm gonna make hamburger shoes. I really hope you enjoyed this project. I had so much fun making it and I can't wait to see you next time. So have a wonderful day and stay crafty. Bye-bye.